Um, so it's a little bit of a dog leg right to left par five. Um, offers up a pretty good closing opportunity for a birdie or even an eagle. Um, got a bunker at about 275 on the left to carry. Uh, my line is normally over the right edge of it. Um, and then it can hit a little bit of a down slope and you can get quite a long way down there. Um, green's well guarded. It's got two tier, it's got a tier running through the middle, which kicks everything off to the right. Um, it can play quite firm if you land it, if you land it on and the back bunker is not particularly nice. Um, obviously you've got a hazard right as well, so it's a really good closing hole. Sebastian now on the 18th, par 5 finishing hole at Wingate. For his birdie. Had a very good round on the go. On. Fortunately a double drop on 17. Hurt his scorecard a little bit. That will be a tap in par for a 4 under 68. Give him a top 10 finish, finishing ninth. Good round for Sebastian. You're out. From the middle of the fairway, the second. Fortunately, a bit long with that one. And have a tricky chip. Kyle, also from the center of the fairway. Down the centre of the green, but on the top tier, we'll have a bit of work to two putt from there. Carlo now. Nobody wants to attack this flag too close to the water. It's come up a bit short, but on the putting surface, also eagle opportunity. You're out now. This chip needs it to get down the slope. Unfortunately, a little bit too careful with that one. But with the water at the back, nobody can blame him. Carlo now. Down the slope. He's judged that one quite nicely. Should be able to make his birdie there. Carl. On the top of the slope. Bit more brave with his butt. That was so close. Very easy birdie. Finished the tournament five under eighth place. Another good couple of days for Carl. Here out now, trying for his birdie. Excellently judged, but. Finished with a 70, 6 under for the tournament, 7th place, top 10. Carlo, 2 foot for his birdie, 69 today, minus 8, 5th place. Also a good 3 days for Carlo. Harry from the left hand rough after a very long tee shot. Seems to have pulled this one a little bit. Oh, trickling onto the front of the green. We'll have a long putt for Eagle. Christian now down the slope. Man's had a good round so far. Currently six under. Leave that left to get to 12 under. Harry now for his Eagle. Just catching the lip, unfortunately not falling. Christian now for this birdie. Lovely stroke, confident. 65 today, 12 under. Give him second place. Harry a regular contender. Not the greatest of days today. But a good birdie to finish, moving him to minus 8. Fifth place. Week in and week out the contender. Gerard Pepler now after a huge drive. More likely just a wedge into this par five. Seems like he's got a bit of a flyer. That one pitching in the bunker. 
going over the back of the green. Our tournament leader laying up with a four-shot lead, not taking any chances. And as he said in the interview earlier today, keeping it below the flag. Matthew now also laid up. Was a prudent play. Good chance to finish with a birdie. Gerard now with a tricky chip. Decided to fly it all the way there. Fortunately not getting too much spin coming out of the longish grass. But still, birdie opportunity. Matthew now. For his ego. Fortunately, oh, almost taking out the tournament leader. <laughs> that was close. You can see the funny side to it. Now I'm done. Tap in for his birdie. Finishing at 12 under second place. Gerard now. Had a quiet day out there. Started at 10 underneath just to get to 11. Fortunately, just sliding past. But a good tournament for the young man. 10 under will give him fourth place. She will be back to fight again next week. Here now with his uh, birdie attempt. I'm sure he'd like to make it, but I can't see him being too aggressive. The couple of Shot lead. But the man is full of confidence and knocks that smack bang into the middle of the hole. For a 67, 17 under. Equaling the course record on Monday with 62, followed by a 70 and a 67. What a champ. Overall, very happy with my game. Um, didn't really have any weaknesses, and it was nice keeping my composure throughout the round. You do get a bit nervous, especially when you're building up a lead. Um, so focusing on one shot at a time was key. What stood out of your game this week? Definitely my putting. That was that literally um, made me score this this week. I got in trouble one or twice, but uh, the flat stick definitely kept me in the game and. Um, yeah, like I said, my I missed a few fairways, but every time I had a chance with a flat stick, it, it was pretty close to going in. Asian Tour, on a pause, what does this world ranking points mean to you? I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, I think what happens if you can lower your world rankings, it'll get you invites into bigger events. So that's the goal for now, and then I'm also chasing the Sunshine Tour card. I'm very excited about that.